Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see about the prop validation, validating the props. So we have seen the different varieties, uh, something like def how to define the props using define props and all those things we have seen it. And also we have seen the basic validations that when we are trying to send the prop, what type of data it should be accepted and all the, uh, the basic type check also we have seen. Apart from that one, we have also the different ways of prop validations like whether the property is required or not or what is the default value if the prop is not provided. So like those we have the validations. Let's see how we can uh, add those all the things. So why we need to do? So for example, let's say that the requirement, if the requirement is not met, that means what the validations, what we are trying to write here, if the requirement is not met means, then what we will to do is view will warn you in the browser. It will not throw you any error. It will warn you in the browser JavaScript console. So it will allow the execution of the code, but it will give you a warning that the data which you are trying to send it in the props is not the correct way. So this is especially why we will be writing this proper validation prop, prop validation is so when developing a component which is intended to be used by others, then we need to write the proper validation so that the component which are used by the others, they can know what type of data they need to send. So to specify the property validations, you can provide an object with validation requirements to the defined props max instead of an array of string. So for example, let's say that we already seen the basic thing. I will try to show you. I will comment out this all the code so that we can have a clear understanding. So single post, I am taking only this com component single post. Read this one also, why? Because we have those all the components, right? So no, there will be no ref. This is a single post. First, we will try to send an ID, ID which is of type 10, not type value of 10. So that means we know that this uh, property ID takes only the number value. So that means we need to mention that it is a type of number. Here in the single post, we can write something like ID, the basic thing. So we have already mentioned it. ID, it is of type number. So this is the basic type check. By default, this one, if you don't mention anything means, so then uh, undefined will be there. So null and undefined values are also will, will allow any type. Now here, if you want to do ID, if you want to print the ID, check in the output here. We are able to see the 10 as an output. Fine. So this is the basic check. So for example, let's say that I want to send some string value also. Okay. So that means string value also. So if you try to send some string value, like ID is equal to Leela web dev. So I am trying to send a single. Then see the let's see what will happen. Go to the console. If you see the output in the console. In the console, we are able to see invalid prop type check failed for the property ID. Why? Because it is expecting a number, but you sent a string value. But the string is displaying here, but it is throwing an error warning in the JavaScript console. So now, for example, let's say that this is a property ID uh, which will take either number or a string. Then you can mention as an array which takes either a string or a number. Like this also you can mention. So this is something like a union type. If you see here, you refresh the page then you are not you are not getting any error so this is another way now for example let's say that we are having two types not two types let's say that uh, we are having two components the single post now this time i am not sending any id for this one so let's see that what will happen try to see the output so we are able to see single post component but this time we are not able to see this one right click to change name is coming from the parent so single post component we are getting Leela webdo. This is the way. single post component. We are not able to see Leela webdo. But what we need to do is so for example, let's say that this ID is taking a string value. Okay, let's say it's taking a number. Okay, but I want to mention this one uh, as a required. So that means must and should who are using this component. So they need to mention the, they need to send this ID as a prop. Then what do I can say here? So first you need to mention either it is a string or a number. So you can mention it as a. Okay. I am mentioning this time is this. And you can mention required true. If you don't mention this one, so that your default required is false. So you don't mention anything. But here I am trying, I am telling that it's a required true. If you see the output here, let's refresh the page. So let's see what will happen. So here missing required property ID. It is throwing an error that so the property ID is essential for the second component. Why? Because so for the second single post, why? Because we are not sending any ID. So this is one way. For example, let's say that uh, it's a string, right? Here also I will change it to name. 
came string required true now for example let's say that uh, it's a required true right so we will be mentioning for example that is not a required okay it's not a required if you don't mention anything so we need to take a default value okay so default value some default value we need to take so here we are sending it's a lira web right if somebody doesn't send anything default value should be the default value or something so now this is the default value so if somebody doesn't send props name to the component then this default value will be taken into consideration now if you try to see here which and here leave lila web dev why because for the first component we are sending the prop value and the for the second one we are not sending anything so for that reason the lila default value has been taken so this is one way and the next one what i can say is for example let's say that we are already having the post details right so here we are having a post details so which is of type uh, which is a ref thing so so now this post details i am sending this entire object that means so here i can send something like post post details equal to post details A single post i am saying so now i am sending the post details so this is an object we know that this post details is an object it's not a number string or anything it's an object then what i can do here is so we can mention this is the name right so name we are already and this is a post details so have it here and the type is object and mention that type for this one is object and if you don't mention anything so if the mode if you don't mention anything you can have Alt value, and here you will be having the row props. Row props means all the props which are coming, so you will be able to get it in the row props. You can have whatever the name you want. You can have it, and here I am returning a title default, and the another one ID of type hundred. Let's say the only push details right. We are having push details. We are having title and ID, and here I am showing default and this one. Now. Let's say that we are having another single post. Not a problem. And we'll remove this one. Both the things. Both the things are having default values. Now we are having these two those two single posts. One we are sending the post details, and the, for the second one we are not sending the post details. If I refresh this page, nothing will happen. Okay. Do not get any error. So nothing is happening. Now let's try to print the post details here. If I print this post details, you. Post details, and here I will write only one thing: post details. Dot title. So for the first component we are sending the title, but for the second component we are using the default value. If you see the output here, see post details here we are getting the title as default, but for the second one we are getting post details as lila web dev. Why? Because we are sending the value here. For the first component we are sending the custom post details, whereas for the second post component we are not sending the details. so that it is taking it from the default values so that is one thing and for example let's say that we are having some message okay we are having some message here let's say that we are having some message and it should be it is success okay and here we are having message i am sending for this one also so warning so we are having some set of enum type of words so out of these uh, words only this should this should match so other than these words we should not send anything to this message so like this also we can add it so here i can say something like message so for the message property so i can add a validator okay validator and we will get the value here and i can return so here it should match only three values that is success either the prop value should be success or warning or danger or anything so only these two things only should be matching here i can add another one like danger here dot includes anything includes of value that's it so if you are sending the value if you try to see the output so we are able to get in warning is and if i try to uh, send other than this value for example let's say that other than this success warning and danger i am saying some random data try to send it here 
So we are able to see the error custom validator check field for the property message. So like this also we can send it. And the, the another one what we can try to send it is the function. So we can also send the function also. Using that function we can change the values also. Yes, we can change the values also. For example, let's say that we are having some value thing like uh, post details we are sending it, right? We are having some method constant update title equal to then it's a function and in this one I will change post details dot value dot title is equal to uh, changed from parent okay changed from parent this one, this one is from the parent now I will try to send this one to the first component dated title okay title is equal to and here I will call this updated title so I am trying to send this one I will not send for this one for the first one I am trying to send and here the updated title we are having it right the props we can write updated title so I am sending this function right updated title it's a type of function so what is this one it's a type is a function type is a function and if you don't pass anything so you can have a default one default first function you can do some return uh, welcome that's it so now updated title is there so here somewhere i will add a button okay button button change post title so i am changing the post title so here if you try to call at rate click is equal to date title or something dated title i don't know what is the name i have here updated title it should not be updated it update title will update title and here also update title. also you use update. should update the title not update. title should not be updated yeah so now if you try to see the output from the parent also we are showing the post where we are not showing it here i will show you post to details post to details dot title okay so this is from parent right here parent and now when i click on this button so it should change both in the parent and also in the company so for example if you try to say change post it if i click here it changed from the parent it has been changed from the parent and also here also parent changed from the parent we have to change post title here i am trying but the last i have used it if i click here so here it has been changed and also here it has been changed so like that we can also pass the function also so like this we are using so the different ways are there and also we can use in another way also let's say that i am having a file something like person.js okay this is person.js and this person.js you can have export default class person and here we are having a constructor constructor it will take a name and also the age and it will save it in this dot name equal to name and this dot age is equal to age these are the two things having and here so this is the class thing and in the app dot view we are having somewhere constant person equal to new person 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 okay person okay new person and we need to pass the and also the which is so now this is the person so we need to import this person put person from from dash dot slash person js okay we have imported person now i am trying to send this person to here so we can send it not a problem person equal to person and here also we can send it not a problem okay we are sending it now in the single post dot view so we know that we have a person have a person and we can mention the type for this one is it is of type person okay we can mention it like this this person should be imported 
where it should be imported import person person from person like this also you can do it now if you see the output so no so far good no issues we can also say like this also so if you are having a custom class and all those things then also you can send it like this so these are the different types of validation props we are sending so we hope you understood about these validation props and all those things if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you